Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Ishan Sharma and in today's video, let's answer the question that a lot of you have, front end versus back end. Which one should you actually choose? Let me answer that question for you. So if you recently started learning to code, you might be realizing that there are two fields that you can get into. Either you can learn front end web development or app development for that matter, or you can learn backend development, right? But you might be confused, which one should you actually go for? Should you go for both of them? Now the answer is not a general answer for all of you. You cannot just say, that, okay, go with front end development or go with backend development. There are a few things that you need to understand. I'll be giving you some questions that you can ask yourself and based on your response, you can choose which field would you like to go into, okay? So let's just start with the first one and this question would be, what type of a person are you? Like, do you like to create some sort of a visible, some thing that you can feel actually, right? So something that you can see, something visual, something that is a lot more apparent, whatever you are coding, whatever you're creating, it is right there in front of you. If that is the kind of work that you would like to do, then I think you should definitely take a look at front end development. That is where you'll be creating some amazing user interfaces. You'll be creating things that the user himself or herself will be interacting with, right? So I think that's really important for you to think about. If you care too much about the design, how should it actually feel? How should it actually work? If you like to build something up and see its result in a visual manner, then I think you should definitely go ahead with front-end development. That's what is preferred for you people. If on the other hand, you like to be mathematical, logical, you, you think too much about how can you actually solve that problem. If you are too much into problem solving, then I think you should take a look at backend development. Okay, so basically what happens is that in backend development, you would basically be interacting with servers, creating APIs, uh, managing databases, and you might also be taking a look at some cloud services like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, etc., etc. But basically, if you are the kind of person that likes to solve problems, actually be mathematical about it, and if you like to do that, then backend is what you should go for. Now, if a lot of you might be thinking that, okay, I like to be visual, I like to be uh, solving problems, I like to be mathematical as well, then what should I actually do? For you, I think you should go for full stack development. That is what you can do. If you have no experience with front-end or back-end development, you can go with both of them. I would say that, that first of all, pick up front-end development, see if you like it. If you don't like creating the layout, making responsive websites, if you don't like building visually appealing things, if you don't like CSS, if you don't like you know JavaScript and all, or maybe even like React or Angular, then I think you should move out and take a look at backend development and see if you like that a lot more. Now, if you take a look at the curriculum of a lot of the computer science degrees that are there in Indian colleges, what happens is that they don't teach you front-end development. Most of them only teach you backend development and they have multiple courses on that. They talk about relational databases and all that. So you do get experience, you do get exposure to that part of uh, development, but you don't get to learn front-end development. So the thing is, these things, you know, things like SQL, NoSQL, all these things, these are here for a long amount of time. And recently, if you take a look at React, which is the most popular framework for building websites, uh, the front end part of it, at least, is something that is very much new. It only came uh, like, you know, a few years ago. And if you compare that with other things that are more into the backend space, they are there for from a long, long time. So these are the things that you need to take a look at. Basically, front end is a lot more trendy. You know, there are different trends, trends come and go. You know, previously Angular was really good right now. React is really popular. All of the startups and other companies are searching for React developers. They are looking for people who can create their websites using React. Okay, so this is what you need to take a look at. You will be learning a lot of technologies if you were to go into front end development. You'll be exposed to some new infrastructure, some new framework every once in a while. You know, recently Dino came up. So you need to learn about what Dino is. And uh, of course, now Dino is not going to replace Node.js anytime soon, but it's just a new and growing field right now, front-end development. And uh, that is why you'll be exposed to a lot of technologies, a lot of frameworks, a lot of ways to do the same thing. So if you are the kind of person who likes to just learn something new every once in a while, then you can take a look at front-end development. Versus if you take a look at back-end development, a lot of the things remain 
relatively same okay they don't change as much as uh, it does with front-end development let me give you a very simple analogy to think about what should you actually choose so let's say you want to go to some place and you want to take like a metro to go there you just go to that metro station you have your own card with which you can just swipe and you can choose your location you go to that that machine with which you can get that ticket and you can just say okay i want to go to this place and you swipe your card the interaction that you are having with the machine is with the front end itself right how the buttons are placed how everything is looking is it responsive or not how everything is functioning that is all into the front end part of the world then you take a look at what happens in the back end so whenever you swipe that card it can just check that okay this is the card number and this person is legit then it will check that if you have the enough funds to you know go to that place and if you do have those funds it will just deduct that funds and then it will print out a receipt that it can give it to you that you can use to just travel wherever you want to the bottom line here is that choose whatever is more comfortable with you do you like to build the logic of the of the machine or do you like to build out the layout of the machine that's what you need to decide there is no general answer that okay you should always go for front end development you should always go for back end development it depends a lot on what you like to do now let's talk about what are the opportunities available right so opportunities would be pretty much the same um, and I have interviewed a lot of people who are at the top tech companies like Google and Amazon and uh, Apple for that matter as well. And uh, they have been there for like five, six, seven years as well. And they are like senior developers over there. And what they've told me is that it doesn't really matter much. Let's say you go into front end development. Um, when you go into these companies, you will be exposed to back end development as well. Okay. And then you can also switch to back end development if you want to spice it up a little bit. If you want to try something different, you can see if you like back end development. If you don't, you can obviously move into front end development. And so it is a lot more transformative and not just one thing that you decide, okay, I'll go with front end. It is not like that. Um, one important thing to keep in mind is that if you can become like a full stack developer, you will have a higher pay. You'll be having a higher opportunity to get hired because again, if you can just be the, this, this one guy or girl who can just code it out himself or herself, that would be a lot better for companies versus hiring multiple people, at least in like small startups, right? So if you can be like a full stack developer, that would obviously be a much better position for you than being just like a, a front end developer or a back end developer. Uh, so yeah, that was just a quick comparison between the two. You cannot really compare them, honestly. Uh, it depends a lot on what you prefer and what you want to go with. I personally started off with front end and I have learned how back end works but I am more of a front-end kind of a person, okay? And that's just me, it can be different for you. Let me know in the comment section below which one is much better for you, okay? Which one do you like to prefer? Do you like to prefer front-end development or back-end development? Talking about the technologies that you'll be doing, uh, you'll be learning, basically in back-end, you'll be having a basic server language um, and that can be either like Python, you'll be using Django or Flask, or you can even do Go, uh, you can take a look at Node.js and if you take a look at databases, then you can again have a lot of databases over there. Uh, MySQL, SQLite, and you know, you have MongoDB, you have PostgreSQL. So all of these options are available for you. Talking about the technologies that you might be learning if you go into front-end development, you have HTML, CSS, very simple. Then you go into JavaScript. That is a major milestone for you, front-end developers out there. And then you can learn about React, Vue, Angular, you can also take a look at Next.js for server-side loading apps. So yeah, all of these things you can take a look at. There are a lot of other technologies that you will be taking a look at. You know, you have Material UI, you have Bootstrap, you have um, a lot of other things as well. You have SAS, you have Less. So these are pre-compilers basically for uh, CSS. And there are a lot of other things as well. You can find a lot of articles on the Geeks for Geeks website to learn about all of these technologies. So yeah, guys, that was just a quick video about me talking about front-end or back-end development. What should you actually choose? Hope this video was helpful. Just ask these questions to yourself and you'll get the answer. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.